sick motherfucking people like us. We just shot him a bunch of Drano. Hit it, boys! So, 2013 marks the 25th year of existence for I Hate God, so how does it yep. feel to reach such a milestone? Uh, great, man. It, it's amazing, the, the fact that we're still alive, I think, you know? I mean, as, as people, not just a <laughs> band. No, it's amazing we've survived so much stuff, you know? We never intended for this band, and when we first started, it didn't, wasn't supposed to do anything. Yeah, we were all in other bands. We all had different bands. This was our side band. You know, we were just having fun playing some slow riffs and stuff and playing stuff that we wanted to hear. Right. And then 25 years later, we're still doing it. So uh, what kind of plans did you have, not only in terms of music, but for life? And have those plans panned out or is it <laughs> completely different now? No, it's it's pretty much what I expected. I just thought I'd be rich by now. <laughs> that's that, that's that's so what not. Happened? Why aren't you rich? Because I called my band "I Hate God." That's why, I guess. So 25 years is a fucking long time for any kind of continuous activity. What's the secret behind the longevity? I, th I think the friendship of the, you know the guys in the band. We've been through so much together, and you know, and, and uh, it just it makes you tight, you know, and it gets better and better as we keep going, you know, so it's, it's like a small dysfunctional family. Yeah, totally. It, we, we had a fan base back then, if that's what you mean, like we had a following, kind of not really so much by take, take us in for pain, it was growing, you know. When Dope Sick came out, it was a little bigger, you know, just how any record, any band. Uh, in the or very early, early days, people would throw stuff at us and I mean, people didn't, the feedback was a would annoy people and 
We just made us want to aggravate them even more, right. you know? It's all, so, all on purpose. You know? That's probably another reason 25 years later we're still doing it, because we're still pissed off and still want to aggravate people, so. <laughs> but still, but still you uh, landed on these tours with like bands like White Zombie and, and, and Pantera already in the, in the 90s. Yep. What was that period like for you? A lot of people doing this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't I don't think people knew what to think of us on a tour like that, you know. Yeah. Obviously, we got the tour because of, because of friends in the bands, you know. Yeah. That and they they dug us, you know. So I think any band is it, it's intimidating to open for Pantera. Any yeah. band back then in the '90s when they were like the top of their game, you know. So I mean, we had balls to go out there and do that, man. <laughs> We'd walk out and flip the crowd off, and they'd flip us back off, and. It was a throw great, stuff. A great stuff. <laughs> it was a great opportunity, though. You know, I think. It yeah. Really, I think it, it put the name in people's heads, even if they didn't like it. You know, and they remembered, and I think you know that helped us a lot. Your live shows are still like small riots, <laughs> and uh, that hasn't changed, right? No. But has touring or playing live has it become different for you when you compare it to what it was in in the 90s? It's just physically harder, man. That, you know. Yeah, I mean we're not getting any younger, you know. That's a, none of us here. Nobody is. So we don't have a boss. Yeah, we're in a know. van. Sleep's hard to get, so you got to grab it when you can. Things like that, but learn to face yourself a little more. Yeah, yeah. Try to be a little more mature about it than we used to be. <laughs> I'd be if it's, this was 1993, I'd be drinking already. You know, like right. well, fuck, I'd been drinking at like eight in the morning. <laughs> But you also got, got some sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. I just woke up. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon or 5 o'clock. But by the way, let me say this is the first day I've slept that late. <laughs> it's not like that happens every day. It's usually up at yeah, right. 7. Nah. <laughs> Don't you sleep all day at home? Oh, at home I sit on tour. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Don't so, say that, man. Michelle's watching. <laughs> <laughs> has there ever been, in during these 25 years, has there ever been a time where, where you kind of started thinking that maybe we should wrap this shit up and just no not not a conscious decision like that i mean things have happened where we thought maybe you know, like like for instance drugs could have destroyed it you know but i don't think none of us have ever sat and said let's end it or anything like that you know this i don't i think even if that happened we'd be in a month we'd be back jamming again it's too much fun man we we, we have fun in this band you know and and it's just it's just a great thing to do, you know. Like I can't I can't go anywhere on this planet and have the sense of humor that we have right. when we ride around in a van. <laughs> and you know, laughing is a great a great thing, you know. Yeah. Thirteen years since you've uh, released your last full length album, but I hear you're working on it's on done. Human. It's tracked and everything. We just have to mix it and uh, fifteen songs. Yeah. Mix it and figure out what label we're going to put it out on. And that's it. You know, we're, we're hoping to have it out early 2014. It will be out. There'll probably be an album and then an EP later because we have so many songs, you know. So uh, how long did it take for you to, to write and, and record that? 13 oh. years. 13 years. <laughs> no, I don't know. A, lo a lot of the songs, it's, it's all basically from after Katrina. None of the songs are from before then. And, uh, yeah, it's all after Katrina. And I'd say, what, 75% of the record was written in the last year, last year or two, you know? And yeah, they were really writing some, some stuff in the past year. I, I really think the new record's going to, I don't, I don't know what, what people are going to think of it, but as far as a band, I think it's a great progression, you know? We're real proud of it. It's progression, and it also sounds like I Hate God. Right, I mean, right. it sounds like us, you know? It's, there's a couple bluesier elements in a couple songs. A little more funkier. But then again, Crimes Against Skin had bluesy right. stuff, kind of. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a New Orleans I Hate God record, man. That's all you can really say about it. So what was it like to write new stuff after such a long period? Awesome. It's awesome. And matter of fact, you know, like when we get home, probably start writing again, you know, and just kind of keep the ball rolling. And it all goes back to the, you know, the bands maturing and, 
and so the playing starts to mature and the songwriting starts to mature but but then again we also know there's an ignorant element uh, that's i hate god <laughs> yeah we try to be professional we're trying to be you know we we are we are professional but yeah we're a bunch of ignorant but in our own way in our own way <laughs> i think i read a piece like one year ago where mike said something about maybe compiling a book on 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 the history of i hate god we, and we didn't want to do that so yeah is it kind of something that you're currently working on or it's a little intimidating we don't really know how to go about it we need someone probably to help us do it you know someone to do interviews with like former drivers or other bands we've toured with i mean to make it Every, really everybody. a good book. Yeah. We want it to be like a coffee table book, like this big, you know? Tons of pictures, you know, yeah. and, and like just tour stories and, and history and stuff, you know? We want to do it right, so. And we haven't even started it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, you know? And we've been working on the album and touring, so. So uh, besides the new album touring, maybe the book, what's the game plan for the next 25 years? <laughs> to keep moving forward, yeah, I mean, that's... opportunities come up and take advantage of it. You know? Yeah, who knows what, I mean, we could be offered anything, you know? I mean, we don't, we just take it day by day, kind of, you know, and just focus on what we need to do. Yeah! 